it's the paint shower that gives new Dodge Ram pickups their sheen. But while most of the robotically sprayed paint makes its mark, a lot doesn't and ends up here. At Chrysler's St. Louis assembly plant, though, excess paint is being put to work in an environmentally friendly way. We use the uh, excess paint to turn it into electricity. We replace about 570 tons of coal a year, which is enough energy to power about 70 homes. Here's how it works. The water is extracted from excess paint, leaving it in the form of soft chunks called dewatered paint solids. In a unique arrangement with Missouri Utility Ameren Services, Chrysler then loads those chunks into trucks and transports them to Ameren's nearby Merrimack Electric Generating Plant, where they're blended with coal. The recovered paint solids are deposited at the base of the coal pile. Uh, it's then pushed into the plant through a reclaim system. And as that system uh, move, transports the coal in the RPS product, it does some more further coal mingling, more homogenization. It's then introduced into the boiler where the energy is uh, recovered through burning. Uh, that heat energy is then used to produce steam, which and then uh, uh, turns a turbine, which produces electricity. In the past, up to 750 tons of paint solids ended up in area landfills. To our knowledge, we're the first uh, electrical utility and automaker to um, to do a project like this. Still one more green advantage is that a chemical in the dewatered paint solids, titanium dioxide, removes trace amounts of mercury that would otherwise be released into the air from the burning of coal by itself. Indeed, finding a way to turn excess paint into power is just another effort by Chrysler to help prevent our fragile environment from going down the drain. Ed Garston reporting.